All right, guys, I'm going to show you how the AC system works on our units. So here on the passenger side of the engine is where we have our main component, the AC compressor, which is right there. On the back of the AC compressor, we have two lines. This one here is the input line. To the back of it is the output line. So first of all, Freon travels into the input in a uh, hot liquid form. It goes into there and then the AC compressor compresses that uh, hot liquid form into hot high pressure gas coming out the back there and then through that line right there and then going into the AC condenser which is right there in front of the engine radiator as you can see and then the AC condenser uh, turns that high pressure uh, warm gas into a cooled liquid form and then it comes back through these lines again right there going to the back of the engine so as you can see through those lines right there underneath there <laughs> and then it goes into the AC dryer which is right there that's the AC dryer and then going through the AC dryer through those lines to the back there it goes into the expansion valve which is right there and then the expansion valve uh, expands that cooled liquid and uh, basically it tells it how much to uh, expand it going into the uh, sorry the uh, evaporator and then the AC evaporator we cannot see from here it's in the back of here behind the firewall and then that uh, cooled liquid going into the evaporator uh, turns in again into a hot liquid form and then uh, behind the evaporator is a fan and then once the driver turns on the AC that fan blows through the uh, evaporator sending cool air into the cabin and then uh, that warm liquid coming from the evaporator comes through the expansion valve again going right here through the uh, through these lines into the input of the AC compressor again as I'm saying it's in a, a hot liquid form right there and then again the process begins all over and then I forgot to mention here is where we have our high pressure switch so from the high pressure side from the output of the AC compressor it goes there and here we have our high pressure switch the high pressure switch basically uh, sends a signal to the AC compressor when to turn off in case uh, there's too much pressure being built up so the AC lines go, uh, don't get damaged. Uh, usually that switch goes faulty and it just needs to be replaced. Uh, another issue we can have is uh, Freon uh, freezing up these uh, AC lines behind the behind the firewall right, uh, right there as you can see and then what usually happens there is either the uh, uh, sorry the uh, uh, the expansion valve can go bad or uh, the evaporator up in the cabin can get clogged up and basically that's pretty much it it's really simple